Fran podcast present Sketch a Bit, the sketch show written by you. Hello, on tonight's film show I'm joined by Hollywood acting legend Gladys Paltry. So, uh, Gladys, you started off in low-budget, straight-to-video fare like uh, Chips, Longstaff and The Groin Detectives. What do you make of those movies today? I don't really want to talk about that time in my life. My new movie. Your new movie is about a woman's struggle to make it in a man's world. Yeah, it's, it's called uh, Integrity. And uh, in order to get the truth of the piece... I immersed myself deeply inside my own character. So deep you ended up in A&E for two days. It's the price one has to pay for the craft. I I truly feel it's my strongest performance to date. And uh, tip for an Oscar. Although uh, some critics have pointed out that you're completely naked for three quarters of the movie. Uh, Was that your choice? Of course. If it's integral to the role, I'll do anything for my art. You see, my character in the movie is uh, shedding her old self and being totally naked is a visual representation of that discarding of the past. It's about a woman. It's it's about strength. Uh, At least that's what the director said, and, and he's won two Oscars. So how does that differ from your title role in the notorious 1997 movie Naked Chainsaw Ladies in Bikinis? Oh, it's, it's totally different. This is art. I, I truly believe that. I, I really do. Box office. Uh, so what's next for you? I was, uh, I was cast to play an alien who comes to Earth, but I passed on that. I strongly believe all aliens should be played by actual aliens and if I did play an alien I would feel I was seriously undermining the alien community alien jobs for aliens that's my motto do you know any actual aliens sure don't you just one Uh, let's call it a day Miss Poultry I I think I've left the gas on at home integrity is in cinemas this Thursday many Many tickets are still available. Joseph? Yes, Mary? I'm really enjoying this game of poker, but we but we need to talk. Uh-oh. No good has ever come from those four words. What is it? Um, I'm pregnant. Ah, you've lost me there. I'm with child in the family way. I've got a, a bun in the oven. But what? What? We haven't even... I know, I know. It's not like I haven't wanted to, you know. I mean, I've, I've got a glimpse of you in the shower and talk about little donkey. A baby, though? How did this happen? Oh, you you know, the usual way. A beam of light. Angel came down. Big trumpet. What? No, like that. No, no. He just said that. Unto thee a child will be born. And then he flew away. What what are the neighbours going to say? I know we're not married yet, but we are betrothed. And I'm, I'm sure we'll have a stable relationship, but it'll work out, you see. Oh, just think, a, a little baby. I wonder what little way. I wonder what it's going to cost. Look, I know it's a shocker. It'll be hard to make ends meet at first, but people might give us gifts when it's born. Oh, it better be gold. Fingers crossed. Hope you're not going to demand all the latest expensive toys and all that gear. My first child, I'll spoil it if I want. Here we go. Oh, I hope it's a girl. You can get lovely robes for girls. And she's off. I've even thought of a name, if it is a girl. What's that then? Prosecco. That's a nice bubbly name. We could 
get baptized by Rabbi Williams. Our bank balance can't take that. It'll cost a fortune. No, it won't. It only takes a minute. Go on. If you let me book him, I'll let you name the baby if it's a boy. Ah, all right then. But no more spending. Promise. You just have a thinking and let me know when you decide. But mind, when it gets older, I'll have to pay for donkey driving lessons. Jesus! Then there'll be temple tuition fees. Christ! Oh, not bad. Those two names go together quite well. Yeah, I've got a pair of aces. What have you got? That beats me. While you're talking, I need three kings. <laughs> Do you have a reward card? No. Do you have a loyalty card? No. Do you have a privilege, discount, membership, advance, bonus, point, smart card? Yes. We don't take those. <laughs> Do you have a card that helps rescue distressed checkout assistants and sends them on holiday to Ibiza? Uh, are you having a laugh? Well, it's worth a try. Do you have a kidney donor card? No. You selfish git. That might save someone's life one day. Do you have a dental appointment card? Why? Because your teeth are horrible and your breath stinks. How dare you? Do you have a VIP Executive Diamond Premier Gold Sapphire Platinum Diners Club card? Actually, I do. <laughs> you bellend. Right, where is your manager? Do you have a card that entitles you to shag any female member of the supermarket staff? No. How do I get one of those? I made that one up, you perv. Can we get on? I'm in a hurry. Do you have a card that says, don't ask me if I have any reward cards because I haven't and I don't want one so don't ask me again or I'll take this cucumber from my basket and shove it right up your ass. No, but I wish I did. Right, that'll be £25. You take contactless? Sorry, cash only. We don't take cards. Hi, oh, this is a lovely place for a first date, Colin. I love the bagpipes. Yeah, th that's the fiddle. Oh, it's marvellous. Yeah, you can't beat Irish music, really, can you? Oh, you're Irish. Lovely people. So warm and friendly. Oh, I love them. I'll probably end up marrying one. Well, here's to St. Patrick's Day. My favourite day of the year. And I can drink a toast to my ancestors. Didn't know you were Irish. Oh yes, born and raised. It's just, you know, that accent. I get that all the time. No, I'm from uh, County Cardiff, just outside Dublin. Strange, your dating profile said your surname is Jones. No, oh, it, it's O Jones. Sarri's O Jones. That's me. I'm as Irish as they come. So I only eat potatoes, love the colour green, and have a tattoo of a shamrock. Here, see? Yeah, that's that's the three of clubs. The mind? You play your cards right, and who knows what might happen? Yeah, who knows? Anyway, I'll, I'll join you in raising a glass to all the great things Ireland has given us. The Giants' Causeway, River Dance, Guinness. Leprechauns. Well, they're not real, are they? Graham Norton. Yeah, he's human. Would you believe it? And here's to all the, the great Irish people throughout history. James Joyce, Oscar Wilde, Daniel Day-Lewis. Father Ted. Yeah, yeah again, he's, he's not real. Um, let's be honest, Karis, you, you're not really Irish, are you? What's the crack with that? Of course I am, you big e-jet. Oh, sorry, my mistake. Uh, can I get you another Guinness? Not likely, Boyle. Tastes like liquefied loaf of bread blended with cabbage and kenko. I'll have a mineral water from the valleys, uh, to be sure. Hello there, madam. Uh, is there anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, yes, dear. I'm after one of those lap dance computers. You mean laptop? I don't know. I just heard they was all singing, all dancing, and did the business, you know, on your lap. 
Uh, well, you've got a wide range to choose from. Is there anything you'd like it to have in particular? Buttons. Uh, fortunately, they all come with buttons. Do you want one that will give you a good performance? No, I have. Well, this one's only 400 quid, but it gives you a lot of bites for your money. Oh, I like the sound of that one. But I'm not paying 400 quid. I'll have one of them ones you're giving away free to women. I, uh, I don't don't think they've got that on offer at the moment. Yes, you do. It says there, look, free wifey. I'm a wifey, so I want it for free. That's that's Wi-Fi, madam. Uh, the shop provides free connection to the internet. Uh, if you don't want to pay for a Wi-Fi contract, I can sell you a dongle. Uh, we've got them in all sizes. Now you're all right. I've got one at home. It just needs new batteries. Well, how about this one? It's uh, reasonably priced and it's got a built-in camera. I don't want that one. I can't skip at my age. Yeah, that, that's Skype. It allows you to chat with others via a camera on your machine. You can see them, they can see you. You mean anyone and everyone will be able to see me at any time? Getting undressed for bed and stuff? Oh, oh no, it only works when the laptop's switched on. Well, I don't want it then. Well, how about this one? What's so special about this one? It gives you a good hard drive and your viewing's improved with an extra two inches. I'll take it. Okay, Dame Clarissa, thanks for coming in at short notice. Our usual voiceover artist is ill, so we're really grateful for you covering. I don't usually do this sort of thing. I've just finished in the importance of being earnest, you know. Excellent. Uh, well, we do need a classy voice for this one. and uh, It's only one line, so read from the script. Let's take it from the top. Caution. One's vehicle is reversing. That's uh, that's brilliant, Dame Clarissa, but can you do it again this time? Just a little less upper class. Just, just do it normal. Oh, very well. I've worked with Sir Ian McKellen, you know. Yeah, excellent. OK, from the top. <clears throat> Yo, bro, caution. This here vehicle is reversing in it. Don't make me come over that, bitch. Sorry, Dame Clarissa. Uh, that's a that's a bit too street. Uh, I want you to do it exactly like a reversing alarm you'd hear down your road. I live in Belgravia, dear. So you've never heard a reversing alarm? Well, I did once hear a Harrods van reversing, delivering my new chaise long. I recline on it when I'm learning my lines, you know. Excellent. Well, do that then. Let's go again. Your Harrods delivery van reversing from the top. Bing bong. Caution. Out of the way, working class oik. This Harrods vehicle is reversing. Bing bong. That's great, Dame Clarissa, but uh, we do need to stick to the script. Oh, really? This is a poor show. What is this vehicle I'm putting my voice to? A dustbin lorry? A dustbin lorry? Ugh! Why can't it be a Rolls Royce or a Jack? Dame Clarissa, that's a wonderfully arrogant tone. Can you go to page 10 of the script and read the lines? If I must. And from the top. Cashier number one, please. And the next one. Mind the gap. And one more. Unexpected item in the bagging area. And that's a wrap. Well done, Dame Clarissa. See you at the voiceover Oscars. Not if I see you first. Come on, come on, Tim. Hi there, I'd, I'd like one adult and one child ticket for the museum, please. I'm coming. That'll be £20. Here you go. Each. Oh, uh, OK. So, welcome everyone to the great North East TV and Movie Memorabilia Museum, showcasing the best of North East movie and television. My name's Ken, and if we move to our first exhibit, you might recognise this item from classic 70s sitcom, Whatever Happened to the Likely Lads. A packet of crumpets? The very crumpet the lads used to chase, as featured in the classic episode, where they don't want to know the cricket score. 
Does this get any better? I mean, you've just got an empty glass case over there. My dear, that case isn't empty. It's full to the brim with Robson Green's overinflated sense of self-importance. I see. Um, what's this here? Oh, this is great. Recall, if you will, the 1982 sci-fi classic starring Harrison Ford, Blade Runner. Th this is a knife and one trainer? That's right, madam. Blade Runner. See what I did there? That knife was donated by Sir Ridley himself just last week. It's still got butter on it. How dare he? Anyway, if I could just bring your attention to this biro pen, which is an exact copy, albeit with a different coloured ink, of the one used by the eponymous character to sign for his fortnightly benefit in Ken Loach's gritty drama, I, Daniel Blake. Rumour has it, the sequel will be called No, Daniel Blake. This is garbage. Oh, you've not seen the Meet the Celebrity section yet. we got big names lined up. The biggest, a load of stars. What, stars from where? Biker Grove. Ooh, I hope his aunt, or deck. I can never tell. Oh no, better, bigger. We got Spuggy, the older guy with the mutton chops. The blonde one who marries increasingly wealthy men. The third dancer on the left from Let's Get Ready to Rumble. And Jill Halfpenny's plumber. Right, 40 quid or not, we're going. Wait, wait, please, just one more. Picture scene. Alf Roberts is thrown headfirst from the top of Gateshead Car Park by Michael Caine in broad daylight. Bye. What a cracking episode of Coronation Street that was. Anyway, this is from the greatest film ever made in Gateshead. That's right. Get Carter. Who remembers the final iconic scene where Michael Caine is shot on the beach? Well, ladies and gentlemen, stand back in awe as I show you this extraordinary item. Ta-da! A glass of water? No, not just any glass of water. It's genuine 1971 North Sea water, which may, or may not, have splashed Michael Caine as he lay dead on beach. Not a lot of people. Eh, uh, what's the rest of that? This is the worst museum I've ever been in. Come on, Timmy. We'll try the Peter Beardsley School of Interpretive Dance and Mime instead. Sketchabit was produced and performed by Pete and Fran Langhelt and featured the following sketches. Gladys Paltry, actor. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wonders of the Northeast. Un-PC World and St. Patrick's Date by Jamie McLeish and Andrew Kirkwood and Rewards Card and VoiceOver by Robert Mills Thanks for listening Don't forget to like and follow this podcast <laughs>